Joe Sam here from Trade to Prosper, and I'm going to give you my latest thoughts on Bitcoin. And I've been watching YouTube and a few uh, media outlets, and uh, can be confusing for a few people. But ultimately, let me say what I think. We've been looking at this level, um, this particular level, for a long time, months, months ahead. Even uh, since December last year, that this is going to be a significant level. Anyone you ask that knows how to trade charts, the golden ratio is always going to be strong resistance. In in this particular case, we see the previous high there. It's no it's no surprise that that's going to be a resistance. We saw here that that was a resistance on the way bouncing back up. Strong resistance there for a few months from uh, what is it from January all the way till April. Strong resistance. Guess what? It's going to be strong resistance. It's just basics. A golden ratio basics. So the fact that the ETF came out at the same roughly the same time just before it hit that top is irrelevant. Tell the truth. If anything, it's a selling point for the likes of grayscale selling the the load the who, who got in involved early and accumulated and that grayscale is selling a lot the likes of um the etf approved companies they're not going to buy into the 618 it doesn't make sense so those that bought will probably buy a bit of the grayscale um sell-off and a few other and the likes of us selling off buying buying just because it's been approved doesn't make sense. What they'll do is average in or some strategy, but no, it doesn't make sense to buy into the 618. Right, so what's, let's get that out the way. And I'll see a few stupid comments about oh, ETF failed and all the rest of the rubbish. It's a, it's a major resistance. Why is it a major resistance for those people that haven't seen it in the past? Well, let's go back to um, 2000, what is this one? 2019, June. Golden ratio, here we go. How do we find the golden ratio, guys? For those newbies, all you have to do is um, get your Fibonacci as one there, your zero reference, and there, golden ratio. Perfect. And you see a bit of other performance, which is normal. That's why we have the 688 or the, oh, sorry, 0.68 or the 0.66, and sometimes 0.65. Here, there wasn't really that much to be, um, used as justification except Fibonacci however when we look on the three day chart if we do this on the candle it makes sense it's right on the body of the candle there you go perfect over performance take the liquidity if, if that's the, the level that if we look into that detail there might be some reasons to short but ultimately it was a golden ratio here similarly we we looked at this level as zero hit this level as one and we saw the golden ratio or the 688 as as we say a few times that can take place that has merit because this, this is where everything dropped and so that's a key level and therefore this becomes a key support the chart tells you the story not the news the news at times can justify justify a dump or pump and then the Fibonacci and all the other stuff go out the window. But in this particular case, we are macro bullish. And the 15% pullback that's taking place is expected. Now, look, what did we have here? This is a strong support level. So when price came down, we found support and we went sideways, ranged the file. And then obviously this, this failed in that case because this is more of a fake out. A bit of a accumulation and so it wouldn't surprise me that we come back down here it turns out to be our golden ratio from a non-log perspective from an, a, a particular way of looking at it i'm not going to go into the detail and i've identified other things here as well so let's have a closer look and by the way we took the short right there perfect on our channel we said take the short and in a few videos I've posted, I'm expecting a correction. Now, this a correction can be short-lived because it, what I said 
was it could be a, a, a mild correction, moderate or a deep. So we have our levels and it's going to be difficult this time around because of the ETF. So in my, in my thinking, as soon as we break this 50 moving average on the daily, it's going to go deep. We have a lot of liquidity at this level, point of control, and that's derived from here. So that could be a good position to find the support that this three day level is going to hold it up until it can't hold it anymore. We might have another attempt to this daily and um, make a control, level of control. Um, so price is going to range and it might just drop. And so then we get the moderate ABC correction. So that's, uh, let's take our tools. So we can probably say that's an A, slightly bounce. We're lucky if we could get to there. Take out the vol um, volume area high. If we could get there, we've got the moving average as resistance. So we've got a lot of resistance above. And then I'm thinking that is the first point of contact. When do we go along? Well, we can go along based on these levels. And, and I've just put a video out a few days ago, how we derive these levels. And so we can probably, if it, if it just wicks up from there, then we look at this potential being a, a range and maybe further down. That's one method and we get that and we want to see a movement. So we're starting to see the Wyckoff structure. This is our base in one way or this is our base in the other. So we've got two um, philosophies here for accumulation or reaccumulation. And, and it's based on the Wyckoff approach. If this is our base for the Wyckoff reaccumulation, this is our sell and climax. This is our AR, as we call it. So price can come down to this level and it's a perfect level to enter, to go there. So going down to 36K, to me, it makes sense. Um, in the past, we've seen 20% to 30% correction that is a 25% correction. It's within our range. So I do expect this to come down further. Um, I, I do feel like that this is going to be a dream. I don't think that's going to be the case. Although that is our golden ratio macro pullback. And then we have the 0.5 here as well. This is, it's possible we can have a five weight count, which is a bearish one, but I'm looking for a free wave count. And when we might have a motive wave, a corrective wave, sorry, that could be a free wave count and then back up. Okay, that is my philosophy here, a mild, moderate or deep pullback. And when we say deep pullback, just get the Fibonacci. This is our previous bottom. That is our golden ratio. And that was with the log settings. If we take the log settings off, it's slightly higher. The other aspect is that we can do the whole lot and that could be a five wave count all the way down there. It's possible. Take out all the liquidity there. If they, if the wilds really want to do it, I don't see that happening, but it's on the table where it can come down, take this liquidity and they will be a perfect position to um, enter. That equates to this here. So we have this um, corrective wave and go, go long. So that is this model. But there's another model, which is uh, prior to 2017. Now this bottom feature, which also looks like a fulcrum to what we just did now, slightly um, different. However, you can see how when we do the bottom to the top, that was a golden ratio for for better or worse. We didn't don't have to take that. The pullback is not that deep. Um, that correction there, for instance. But there is a wick there, 38%. So it, it was a, a deeper correction. But in general, if we were to ignore that wick, that is a 27% pullback. So if that's the model that we are looking at, which is very possible, then you can see all these pullbacks of different sizes, 33%, 38%. So there you go. Here we had a significant pullback of recent over there, and that's 31%. And back to our original chart, giving you the justification.
okay i, I do believe that a 20 percent we had a 15 percent i think a 20 20 something percent down to this level makes sense even maybe just 20 percent and taking out the cme gap there's a cme gap just below this as well as this is congestion there was a lot of volume there and therefore that makes sense that we will find some support let's have a closer look at that level if it was to drop we're going to see that then we have that obviously deeper deeper pullback and i don't see that happening what we'd like to do is we have our point of control there and there so i, I do expect that to come down um if we get the wicks taken out then we might just go up a bit but you can see this level is going to be congested and there's going to be strong resistance if it drops any further and we use our tool again put it there and you can see up close let's have a look closer close up and you can see my points of um, interest in shorting so that point of control is going to be strong resistance that's our POC I've done this before on another chart and I think it's all here right so we flip to that make a note of the 21 moving average on the daily with EMA and SMA it, it plays its role then we got the 200 moving average on the four hour it's significant it plays its role very well and we're going to see here and then we've got the 50 this is what we have on our trend if we break this band of emas then we're going to go further deep and that's when we, what i said back before those are the levels of interest for the time being let's have a closer look at what we're looking at i had this yesterday and it might be just that that's the case so it does look like a bearish flag and you can see how our moving averages play the role that one if we just change the color it's still black that's our 200 moving average on the four hour perfect actually there we go that looks bearish in nature but that's our 50 moving average here we have a level that's finding a support for whatever reason and if we look across uh, can we use any of these levels to justify a long i'm not interested in a long here just to tell you it's just I like to see strength before I go for a long. There's no strength there yet. Here we got perfect the point of control uh, based on volume, and that was why we found support there on the small time frame. So the candle. So we had the wick, took out the liquidity, I think, for that one. So it's taken out that liquidity, but it's not going to be enough. It might not be enough. These strategies are well documented. If you want to having a glimpse at um, the free stuff on my website you just go to this this spot here there's free free access let's just show you quickly um, not too much detail free course just click on that changing my website the theme welcome to our free so what we have here liquidity Go into that module gives the introduction click on that more you're you got all these basic introduction elements to trading you need to see that here's a liquidity we talk about liquidity we give you actual um, reference some price examples just giving you and you click on it you can see the the details and so on and there's more examples coming through and over time you can watch some videos and so on but that's a that's all for free access so you can take advantage of that we've got the candlesticks and so on i'm still um updating this for, as free content and there we go so back to what we're talking about that's how we use liquidity for finding trades and swing failure patterns and in addition i've i posted a video yesterday and I'll show you that one quickly. This one here. This one gives you as a tutorial on finding levels of significance. Powerful method. That is, that covers our thing here. All these levels, how we derive it. 
and we spoke about this area in detail. The next stage uh, of this video talks about why we entered the short and the explanation so lessons could be learnt and how we um, communicate that in our Discord channel. So it, it was a, a free call and we had the naked port of control and the, the next stage of this video will explain everything as to that trade and what we've taken place. In the meantime, we have this moving average and this as support as well as a macro Fibonacci. So the 0.5 is acting as support. If we were to lose that, um, I, I expect it to go lower. So we might just take that out. If we come back up, that's a bit of a sign of strength. So if it was to come down, I would not trade it. I'd like to see it come back up. If it regains a 0.5 Fibonacci and the monthly level, then I'll long. Then I'll be happy to long. At this point right there, no. This could also hit this level, find that resistance and come back down. Or go ranging again. If it ranges from that perspective, then it's got more of a chance to <coughs> hit this level, and that, which will, I'll be looking for shorting position. You can see why I'll be looking for shorting position as well as these monthly levels and a few other things. So they, these are the scenarios that I'm looking at. At the moment, we have no bias up or down. I am looking for an ABC correction. That could be an A, B and C correction. So that will be a good shorting position in um, taking profit from your account. Um, as soon as you see that there's a bit of resistance there, you better take your profit. However, that also means that the moving averages come across. So we might just find support and then go for another attempt to the higher. I don't think it will get to that level, the 618, but there is that possibility. So um, I'm more biased to the downside. I like to see the liquidity taken out. There's more longs here than shorts that's that's there's not many shorts have come in i think that there is a bounce and then it's likely to come take out this liquidity to this pocket which is a cme gap as well if that doesn't hold then we see further down and so on um and the next stage of the this video was already pre-recorded yesterday so i'm just going to add that onto this video and uh and continue so hopefully at the end of the video please give me a like and share and i'll talk to you soon a recap on what we did and why we did it we took a short at this perfect spot for a number of reasons number one it's the golden ratio it makes sense simple rule 618 it's going to be resistance number two it's taking out the liquidity number three there was an impact there so we had right there touched that on the 30 minute, it looks great to enter a short. So if we look in closer, so we get the wick, we touch our naked port of control, which we get from the exo charts, and then we drop. And we are still shorting. Where are we now at this point? We have our 200 moving average on the four hour. That acted as support, and I'll show you why it's important. And now we're on our 50 moving average and price found support there. We also have our Fibonacci levels and so on. Okay, so here we have it. This was our original thoughts. Look, we're getting there, almost there. We're almost there with the PD right there. We're almost there to get the short in. We're looking for that move or the 618 and then down so you can see the build up coming to it but you says taking the people and the liquidity perfect and pocket and liquidity to short so i called it out there guys now just a side note just joining this group for such trades with a 15 percent pullback pays the membership fee for the year easily it's no money out of your pocket there was a video that I did as well, and I'll just bring that back and uh, understand what just took place. So to go out, take the 618, and then we would like you to see that happen. 
and the liquidity is here so anything above is pretty much the previous stop losses so we're expecting that to happen we could probably see that this range for a while and then take out this level and then pull back again and maybe just maybe we get the abc correction it's this one here that was um, interesting so i'll look at this price action and it's in, in very similar in nature if i was to just split this screen let's just do that for a sec You can see the similarities where price just keeps going up and up and up and then hits its resistance and then we have this pullback in this case look what the pullback goes to liquidity it hits our liquidity there so what's our liquidity spot here this is a good spot here there's a lot of liquidity underneath that so it, it's in my opinion very likely this was uh let's see how much percentage drop That was 20%, was it? 25%. So far, and, and that's acceptable in the bull run. So if we were to say there to there, that's a 30%, 29% drop. It wouldn't surprise me to do that. Our liquidity spots are here. Meaning stop, all the longs came in uh, under that. So it's my opinion that we'll take that out. And let's put our Fibonacci onto it. So, it's very likely, in my opinion, that we take that out, hit the 618, and then potentially go up. That's a moderate correction. A, a, a worse correction, potentially, it could be that we take this out, hit the 1, take that liquidity, all that liquidity out, and then continue on with the bull run. Don't forget, we, we mentioned that this is the golden ratio that we hit. And therefore, it makes sense to pull back. Over here, back in, uh, what is it, 2018, we hit our golden ratio, and we found this correction. Now, I'm not saying it's going to play the same way, but this one was a nice one, where we had a move, A, B equals C, D, which was that. We could potentially play that out so we're just going parabolic now you can see here how we go moving averages always at support 50 was the last one um, we have a better chart there's more to it but yeah the 50 if we get a wick like that on the, on the daily then uh, on the 50 looking bullish candle then we're likely to continue on so this model I am looking at as well there you have it Please give Sam a like, share, and subscribe to his channel to support him for doing more of these posts.